saw was Jaws. What I saw was a man-eating shark. The fear turned into fascination. What I learned was it's the world's biggest lie. These animals aren't what anyone thinks they are. They really are exquisite, some of them so elusive and hard to find. It's strong, it's beautiful, it's fast, it's vicious in some eyes, it's powerful. I've seen that face hundreds of thousands of times. I know it so well, better than my own. And this animal seeing mine for the first. The animal was able to look at me, and I looked at him. makes it all worthwhile. It's driven this passion in me so, so down to the ground. It's like riding a stagecoach till all the horses die. I really started filming a lot of sharks at night. Satisfying to me because I had never seen a film of that before. Who else on this planet is seeing that right now? A huge, amazing predator just coming up to them and investigating them. It's something different. You get to see these animals that travel hundreds to thousands of miles. And we both meet in the middle of the ocean. And I feel very fortunate to be able to showcase these animals to millions of people throughout the world. And I'm hoping one day some kid will just come along and be able to see everything and film everything and experience all the things I did and even more. Shark populations are dropping 70 to 100 million sharks a year. That's three sharks every second. That's mass extinction. We're like fire. We just consume everything we see. All these horrible things happen to these animals that people just don't see, don't know, or they don't care about them. As a wildlife filmmaker, I have to think, when do you put the camera down and help? It's amazing. These animals have such a tolerance for humans. And we have no tolerance for them. These animals need to be protected. And we need to evolve in the way we see them. understand things you confront, and I really believe that that's what we do.